What's happening guys? Today you are learning that groove, so grab that PDF because I know you want to get started. We're talking about groupings today and how to think slightly differently about them to create different grooves as opposed to fills. Now groupings just means a collection of notes. Let's say a note that is four notes long, a group that is four notes long, plus a group that is six notes long, plus another group that is six notes long. That would be a four, six, six fill. That would sound something like this. Really common, really useful, that's obviously sped up. You hear that a lot. But why don't we apply that same idea but to grooves and then use the start point of each as a little anchor. So we're gonna reorder that. It's not gonna go four, six, six. It's not gonna even gonna go six, six, four. It's gonna go six, four, six. Now the first six we're gonna use, we're gonna use a double paradiddle, which if you don't know, is a compound sticking using singles and doubles and it goes right, left, right, left, right, right. Now to orchestrate it, we're gonna take the right hand, play it on the right cymbal. We're gonna take the left hand, play it on the hi-hat. That's gonna sound like this. Para, para, diddle. Now after that, we're gonna do a group of four notes. And in this case, it's gonna be a paradiddle. Now because the last two notes of the six were two right hands, the next note has to be a left because three just sounds like you're trying to show off. The left is gonna be on the snare drum because that's gonna be our backbeat. So that's gonna be strong, left, then a right, then left, left. So the two of them, the six plus the four, sounds like this. So now there's so many options here for the next six. We could just play another double paradiddle, we could play a double paradiddle, we could play any different combinations, even just singles would work. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna leave that six up to you. It could be absolutely anything you want. Anything that's six notes long, you can play in that last six. Now six plus four plus six is gonna give us 16 sixteenth notes, so therefore it's gonna work as a one bar groove. If you were to vary the last six, for example, then you'd have a two bar groove or even a four bar groove. So let me jam around a little bit. I'll play that first double paradiddle paradiddle, and then I'll improvise the last six. You'll see some of those ideas I played in the intro start to come out. There's a few different things happening there. I, I played kick right left a couple of times. I played this kick right left right right left idea, which is kind of cool. That went like this. And I like to do that maybe coming off accenting that first right. So kick right, left right right left, ghosting them or coming down the toms like so. Sounds great. The whole point is that it's up to you to fill in that last space. So I'd really love to see your videos, see what ideas you can come up with, see where, what cool directions you guys take this. If you dug this lesson, hit subscribe, give me a like, it really does help, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.